Hey, what's up? This is Eugene Tong. We are in New York City, my hometown. We are in the back of Saturdays in the courtyard. It's a place where I can kind of get coffee and just hang out with friends or have a meeting when the weather's nice. Um, Saturdays is a brand that is kind of a East Coast surf culture and you know, it's a really cool brand, it makes really cool product. We are in West Chelsea, New York, at my favorite store, my favorite brand, CDG, Comme des Garcons. I'm going in, I want to see what the new stuff looks like, I want to go buy some stuff. So I'll see you guys later, peace. Ray is a genius, I've loved her since I was a kid. They represent to me what fashion should be and it can be, and I love it. Hey, what's up? We're at La Esquina. It's one of my favorite places to grab lunch in the city. It's always quick, I'm always on the go, so I just grab a few tacos. Personally, my favorites are steak taco and rotisserie chicken taco, and usually get one of these little grapefruit sodas are delicious. Actually, I'm gonna get another taco now, so see you later. Soho at the Snow Peak flagship store. It's one of my favorite brands. Probably one of the sleeper brands that a lot of people know about. I discovered it while I was at Details Magazine. I just fell in love with like the Japanese take on outdoor and I definitely use a lot of their stuff and kind of perhaps not for outdoor but just for city living as well. I love all like the kind of soft downs and water repellent and just all this stuff. I would have this tent in my apartment if I could, you know. Um, I just really love this brand. I just think it's super dope. We are at the Rose Bar at the Gramercy Park Hotel. This has been my go-to bar for the last few years. One of my best friends lives around the corner and we usually just come here and have some scotch and relax and you know, shoot some pool, really chill bar. It also can get really fun um, and, you know, just come here to unwind. I'm predominantly a scotch drinker, so usually for me it's a scotch on the rocks. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice chill bar. It doesn't get too crazy um, and it's just comfortable. Huge Nike fan, and usually this store has probably the best selection of Nike product that I'm into, whether it be the lab or the special designer collaboration. So it's always a store that I kind of check in on every few weeks just to see what they have. Personally, I like a cleaner aesthetic, and so I feel like their stores are always really clean. Product is always kind of the focus, and you can always, it just makes everything look really great, you know, awesome. Mostly my sneakers and some sportswear, obviously. All my sportswear is pretty much from Nike or all my socks are from Nike. A lot of my stuff's actually from Nike. We're in Soho uh, at the NOAA flagship store. This is uh, my friend Brendan Babazine's store. Um, I just love his aesthetic. Um, I love what he's doing. He has like, his own true <coughs> unique point of view and I love just taking his stuff and kind of making it my own and putting it with my other stuff. I don't really like kind of dressing all in one designer, but you know, I think the great thing about Brendan is that he really does have his own aesthetic and he's probably one of the most highly respected kind of designers who are kind of under the radar. Um, and I think that's by his own choosing. So I just really love everything that he does. Um, you know, there's a great kind of like Long Island surf kind of culture that he grew up with and skirt and skate and surf and mixed with kind of streetwear and, and luxury and it's just kind of like the perfect storm of kind of like I think what people who really truly appreciate product kind of can, can uh, understand and appreciate. すごい履き心地がすごいいいなと思ってるのとあとは、え
トゥーシェイプですねつま先のシェイプがすごく、えー、スッとしてるのであの上品に履けるのが気に入ってます今日のパンツみたいに、えー、と裾がリブになってて、えー、キュッとこう締まってるパンツの場合は紐をスニーカーの紐を緩めて履く時が多いですねエアマックスもあの僕が高校生の時とか全然手に入らなかったので今履けるのがすごい嬉しいぐらいですごく好きなスニーカーの一つです。木本文、えー、通称、えー、ポギーと呼ばれてます原来这次是第一次才跟 GQ 合作，呃 ，GQ 台湾的同事，然后，呃，很顺利，一切都很顺利，就唯一就是，觉得今这一次应该是在台北拍会比较好，因为这样我会能够飞到台北去。我最喜欢就是拍拍照也不会拍很长的，就几个小时，然后拍完就可以肯定晚上可以吃个饭啊。其实我台北挺多朋友的，好，感觉上比香港还要多。<笑>我希望我们的衣服是买了以后天天能够搭配得到，比较内穿，比较内刊一点。谢谢 GQ 邀请我来，就是拍摄这个方面，然后也。很开心，因为春夏秋之名再一次就是这个系列再一次跟 GQ 合作，然后希望大家会支持这部电影，也是我觉得这次也很有缘分，就是有其中一些取景的地方在台北，我觉得可能看起来台湾的观众朋友会比较有投入感。脚要伸直哦，它。然后就坚持平的，然后如果你你觉得 OK， 你可以这样动，这样动的话效果会更好，这样会对你这个 core 跟就是可以减肥，减肥有用。What does it feel like to be on the cover of GQ? I mean, the only thing that I can say is holy shit. I was born in Salina, Kansas, which is right in the center of the country. I grew up with two younger brothers; I'm the oldest, and I knew from a really early age that I was very different from the rest of my family. Growing up, I have to say I didn't really have any idols. I mean, I'm not one of those people that sort of pattern my life after anyone. I think that I've been very、um, independent in that way. I was probably influenced by, you know, movies about New York, so. Cary Grant, Doris Day,、uh, Lauren Bacall. I moved to New York in January of 1983. I always say that the the unfortunate thing about New York today is that it's really difficult to be young and poor. But in 1983, it was really easy. It was a really amazing time to sort of grow up, which is what I feel like I did when I moved here, as I became an adult. I think kids. Want to look different from their parents. So most men my age have defined success as the ability to wear jeans to work. This casualization of the workplace. And so their kids looked around and saw all these horribly dressed people in pleated chinos and acid wash mom jeans and you know and polo shirts and said, "I don't want to look like that." So they probably. Looked more to their grandfathers. You know, the cuts are slimmer. The styling is sort of more interesting. They're not afraid to wear a sneaker or a boot or some non-traditional shoe with a suit. This has become sort of the norm, and that to me is really interesting because it breaks down those old-fashioned barriers. Fashion always changes. I mean, that's the nature of. Fashion and style, but in menswear and especially for myself, I really think of everything involving style as being an evolution, not really a revolution. And even when something revolutionary might come along, for me, it's about 
how to integrate things from the past with things that you want to add in the future. Every man should have a navy blue suit, a navy jacket, a gray suit, white shirts, blue shirts, a narrow gray or blue tie to wear with either the gray or blue jacket, um, a perfect pair of black wingtips, a perfect pair of brown wingtips. I always say if you had to have one belt, it should be an alligator belt with a silver buckle. Regardless of what you have, the first rule of thumb is, and I think the, the only thing that's critical to success is clothes have to fit really well. And that includes t-shirts and jeans. You know, if you need to take your jeans to the tailor or a t-shirt to have it sort of brought in a little bit, like around the arm, that's what makes inexpensive things look expensive. And if you don't do that, it'll make something very expensive look really cheap. A fashion icon? I don't think so. If that's what they want to call me, then I'll just say thank you. So Taiwan impressed me as being very much like uh, the best of Tokyo and the best of Asia, what I know to be Asia. Um, but there's definitely an American and an English vibe, which is nice because I think the, the, one of the limitations of Tokyo is it's so specific to Tokyo. And the same with the mainland China. It's very specific to just that, those countries, whereas here it seems a little bit more international. And I've participated in the one in Tokyo a couple of times. And so I kind of, there's a precedent for this idea of gathering of, of fans, fans of menswear gathering. And in this case, there were many women, which was very surprising. Um, you see that at the Tweed Run in Tokyo as well. But I, I love the idea that people, not just limited to men, but people gathered together and, um, and sort of did their best to impress each other and to impress the world in terms of how they were you know wanting to dress and and tell a story and I and I really feel like in in Taipei yesterday this is what happened it was an, an amazing display of uh, you know east meets west of Piti Womo meets the streets of Taiwan I mean it was a it was a very impressive for me it was super impressive and it was shocking to see how uh, into it the the people got here um, you know, and I think GQ really reports on that, and they've they've been the sort of the bible for that. And so the partnership of GQ along with the, with the Suit Walk was a was a great combination. Uh, in a you know in a certain way, offices around the world have adopted the same sort of format. It's uh, it's less walls and more open discussion, and uh, you see that at the new, in the new Condé Nast offices of the One World Trade Center, where it's all about collaboration, and so. The offices at Condé Nast were exactly as I would expect them to be, that they were an open forum for exchange of ideas. And, 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 and it was so great to see sort of the Vogue and GQ teams because it's like kind of the, it's like the two-star football teams, you know, the, the vying for the attention of something. It was, it was really fun, funny. I mean, GQ is the sort of, I think, the gateway magazine for every young kid who's interested in fashion, Vogue for women, GQ for men. And there's no better uh, partner than, than GQ. And it's just so phenomenal to be part of uh, the, you know, the country of Taiwan, to be in Taipei, in a place where I'd never been before, but to be welcomed in such a fantastic way to feel like it is home, which is really, really nice.